I previously coded this animation and today I'm going to add another option to it. And the way I'm going to do this is using radio buttons. So input type radio and then I'm going to have a name option and then I'm going to have an ID original and then I'm going to copy paste all of this. and change here rainbow now i'm going to create a label for each of these so uh, that's going to be label for uh, the id above and i'm going to have the same id as text content and now i'm going to have checked for the first one now let's move on to the css now, first of all, I want to do something for the face right here. So I'm going to take this from here and uh, put it uh, in this case. So if I have a radio button with the ID original and this is checked. So checked. And it's followed by my assembly. And I have this face inside it then I'm going to have that color now I'm going to take all of this and copy paste it in here except I'm going to uh, change there to two and then I'm going to um, paste it again here so a rainbow and here I'm not going to have color, I'm going to have a filter. So, filter, brightness, 0.9. Now, the next thing I need to do is take both of these and um, copy paste them here. And of course, change to 3 and uh, to point 0.8 now next actually let's comment these animations for just a little bit okay now here I'm, go I'm going to set a color so color and it's going to be this HSL volume and I'm going to have a hue for the calc I'm going to max out the saturation, I'm going to have 50% for the lightness and uh, then I'm going to have a multiplier times, uh, times 360 over the number of bricks and here I'm also going to have, it's going, this multiplier is going to depend on the brick index which is I and it's also going to depend on a J that depends on the layer. So let's define this uh, J here. So J is going to be floor I over 2. So and now if I switch to rainbow, I have this rainbow cylinder. Okay, uh, now let's uh, make uh, the labels and that stuff nicer. So first of all, I'm going to have label. position relative and inside it I'm going to have before elements and these will have position absolute and content nothing at first um, but if I have the input before checked so input checked and followed by this label then I'm going to have some stuff in here. So first of all, I'm going to set the color to, I don't know, something like this. The third color, that orange should work. Uh, and then I'm going to do something for the before. And that's add uh, a check mark. Uh, content. And I'm going to need to add a check mark. So um, let's find that check mark. Okay, found it. Uh, 
Now, the next thing that I need to do is set a diameter for um, that thing in front of the label. So, this diameter is going to be, I don't know, let's say something like this. And I'm going to set it here as the width. And it's going to be the same value for the height. And we want to see this, so what we're going to do is give it a box shadow. Zero offsets, zero blur, and two pixel spread. Okay, and we're also going to give it a border radius. And that's going to be 50%. And the next thing that we're going to do is set position. But first, let's set a margin here. So our margin is going to be a 0, 1n, um, 0, um, let's say um, 2 times d. Okay, so uh, now this should work. And here I'm going to set left. It's going to be um, 3 times d over 2. And top is going to be a calc value, and this is going to be 50% minus half the diameter, D. Um, and this is going to be minus, sorry. So uh, this is uh, minus, uh, minus half, 0.5. Okay, um, and here I'm also going to set font size. Let's set it to that same D. Uh, and here, set font size, but make it just like this. And now let's hide the inputs. So, input, uh, and this is going to be position absolute again and um, left minus 100 viewport width units so this should now work nicely okay uh, and it does one more thing I want to do here is set cursor pointer and now I want to uh, uncomment stuff Oh, it just takes that as a regular expression. That's weird. Okay, I can do it manually. Okay, so uh, this is it. This is the original, and now I have the rainbow one, and I can switch in between them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any other ideas for future videos, just drop them in the comments or send them on Twitter. And until next time.